In this video we'll have a look at checkpoint database versions which are the backups of rules and objects within security manager. So if we go to file here and then we go to database revision control from here we can create a new version by uh, selecting it here. So if we create a new version we give it a name so we can uh, just put in the date and we can put in a comment such as uh, prior to uh, an upgrade and you can also tick this here so you've got a few areas where you can uh, tick this checkbox here so keep this version from being deleted automatically so uh, you can um, set the uh, database revision controller where versions are deleted automatically and this will protect it so this is the bit where you automatically delete all the versions so this will protect this version from being deleted so if we click OK here it will create a new version from here so version was created successfully we can click OK here and we see it here so we also see the version ID the name you can drag these along. Uh, creation date, administrator who's created it, the major version, the plugins, the size, and the comments were left as well. So, what else we can do is we can check the properties of this version. We can uh, change the name, change the comment here. Here's the checkbox again. Keep this version from automatically being from deleted automatically from being deleted automatically, and uh, we'll just cancel here. Uh, we can delete it as well from here. We can also do. Uh, create a new database version upon install policy operation so if we select that I'll show you it shortly but every time you install a policy uh, it will create a new version then we can also to make sure uh, the versions don't stack up and fill our uh, management server up with uh, lots of um, versions uh, we can uh, control it from here so delete versions according to the following settings so we can do, do delete versions older than uh, the version number the number of days and even the storage size as well etc so the best one usually uh, people go for is the top one here and they specify a number here depending on the company policy or how um, excessive they are making uh, checkpoint changes etc so um, we'll leave that as the top one as uh, the, the default one press ok there we can do um, action from actions here we can view the version uh, I'll show you this shortly we can restore the version remove keep is effectively the same as uh, this checkbox here so it doesn't automatically delete it um, so what we can do now is if we press ok here and then we come to our rule set so what we can do is if we delete a few rules let's just delete these rules here we cut them and then we save it actually uh, if we also um, let's just uh, delete some of these objects as well so if we select a few of these and then just do delete from here as well finance and HR uh, network objects from here and then save it again and then if we go to install policy from here see revision control at the bottom so if it's not, uh, you may need to drop the uh, advanced uh, section here and you can see it from here so this is checked because we had it checked uh, in file database revision control we had um, this option checked here so create a new database version upon install uh, policy creation uh, policy operation so if we cancel out of here and we go to install policy again and we install the policy and we leave this checked it will create a revision control every time we're installing a policy
So first it will uh, create a new version. And that will be followed by installing the uh, policy itself. Right, so uh, version was created successfully. If we click OK here, it will start to install the policy itself. Right, so it says uh, installation uh, complete successfully if we click close here. We can see our rules have gone and if we want to revert back to them, if we go to file, um, database revision control, we can see there's two versions now and this one's got like a, a cross over like a bin. That's because that's the one we created where in properties we've got this checkbox enabled. On this one the checkbox should not be enabled. Um, so this is the the latest one that we've created what we can do to revert back to it is we go to so we can also see at the bottom left our network objects have gone the finance and HR ones so if we go back to it we can do action we can also do view version as well from here so this will open up smart dashboard and show us the the version we're installing the policies and the objects so it's good just to do it for verification purposes So uh, I've just done that but I've done it on the wrong one, uh, let's cross this off, let's do it on this one, action view version. So this time I've done it on the right one which is was the bottom one um, and we can see our rules here we can also see within networks we can see finance and HR here so this is definitely the version we want to uh, revert to so whenever you create a new uh, version it's always at the top so that the, that's the last one that's the current one as well and this is the one we want to uh, revert to so we can do action and then we can do restore version from here and then we can uh, keep the default selected so it will restore the entire database except for the user database uh, leave the current user database as it is that's fine uh, we can do view version from here which is the same as the one in the action it just uh, you just see the version again like we just did so if we do next from here it's doing a, a verification here
and it says uh, verification completed and it also says uh, after restoring the database the smart dashboard will reopen with the restored database version please restart all smart console applications after completion so if we select restore from here it will actually uh, restore our policy now So it's uh, restarting the uh, smart dashboard for us again. And it's uh, restarted everything again. So it's connected to the management server and we can see uh, the the new, the old rule base is back up now so we can see the other rules and if we go to networks, break that down, we can see finance and HR objects have been reverted as well. Hope you found it useful and thanks for watching.